Hey, sports locker fans, I went around the city of Chicago, mostly around the Water Tower campus, to ask people what they thought about Derrick Rose and his injury once again. When's the next time you think he will be injured? I mean, I really hope that he doesn't get injured for a while because, I don't know, he's kind of like an iconic figure for Chicago, like the first one since Jordan. And so it's really disappointing every time he gets one of these injuries. And we're like, oh, we have to wait longer for him to come back out and just like go hard and like be the Derrick Rose he's supposed to be. So I'm really hoping he doesn't get injured, but at the same time at this point, it really wouldn't surprise me. He just got injured again. <laughs> he's out for two months when he returns. How long do you think before he gets injured again? Hopefully this will be the last time. I'm hoping so. You know, some people in the NBA just have like very unfortunate sequence of events. He just so happened to be that person. But I think he'll make a speedy recovery and he'll be fine, you know, moving to the season. Elbow right to the face. He'll be out for about two months. So when he returns, how long do you think until he is out again with another injury? Well, honestly, if I'm being pessimistic, probably a week, uh, but hopefully not too long. I mean, he's a great player. I'd love to have him playing for the Bulls, but it's just one injury after another, so I can't have my expectations too high. What does this mean for the Bulls? Do you think it'll affect them? Do you think uh, it'll help him come or when he yeah. comes back? Yeah. For sure, the Bulls are going to get rid of him come free agent time. Um, yeah, I think a couple days ago he came out saying he, uh, he was worried about free agency. It was a buster move. He shouldn't have done it. Um, He's a great player. I admit that um, just again, he just is very unfortunate, unlucky, you know, but just hope he just, you know, make a speedy recovery. That's about it. What um, does this mean for the Bulls? Like, how do you think this affects the whole team and the franchise? Yeah, well, I think the Bulls without Derrick Rose are still pretty strong. I don't know if they're necessarily playoff or like championship material without Derrick Rose. Do you think this is a good thing for the Bulls? Should they? keep them around or should they get rid of them? Um, I think the Bulls should, uh, I think they should shop right now. Uh, it would be their best option to see what they can get uh, just out in the market, uh, look into next year's draft class, see if you can get some uh, first round picks, maybe trade him to another team. Honestly, I would rather them just see get rid of him uh, after all the injuries and stuff, but they've played without him before um, and they've done well, so they're just gonna have to learn to play without him again. Just gonna make it back to MVP for him. That's all over on. That's all. I just want a good NBA season. The NBA season. Any other comments for Derrick Rose? Yeah, you should uh, drink milk. <laughs> all right, there you have it. Mostly positive and uh, optimistic things from people. Hopefully we can see Derrick Rose come back stronger than ever and like uh, those gentlemen said, an MVP form. For Rambler Sports Locker, I'm Blake Keller.